Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about a refrigerated air dryer. What is it? Why do you need it? And how does it work? A couple different types of drying for compressed air. The most common and the most affordable is a refrigerated air dryer. Uh, basically how we decide what we're gonna need is based on the quality of air that you need. What the moisture level in the air is acceptable for your process. The majority of stuff that we do for our air tools and different machine operations, we can deal with the basic refrigerated air dryer. And what that does is it's based off of a refrigeration cycle that allows us to cool a, a media or something that's internal to it, run the compressed air through that unit, and allows us to bring basically the dew point and the temperature of that compressed air down. So you know, when you start to cool something, it's the same as what's going on in the atmosphere. As you start to cool, the moisture is, is heavier than the air and starts to fall to the bottom. When we drop it to a certain point, the moisture is all at the bottom, we change some direction of it, and it allows us to pull that moisture out of the system. Why we use a refrigerated air dryer, it's a, sort of a simple process. It's the same concept as your refrigerator. What's going on in your refrigerator? It's a sealed, insulated box. The same concept would be we would put the air inside the refrigerator, get it cool, and then pop it out the other side. And on the bottom of your refrigerator would be all the condensate and the moisture. That's the same concept we're doing here with it. It allows us to really get the air cleaned up, keep all that moisture out of it so it doesn't get into our tools and into our airlines. The only thing that it does do is it only allows us to bring that dew point down to about 35 to 37 degree dew point because what happens to water when you get to 32 degrees? It freezes. So if we were to freeze this dryer down, you're, you're basically we'd create a block of ice. We want to do that, so that's why we maintain the, the refrigeration cycle to basically shut the unit off when it gets to those temperatures. There's a lot of different styles of dryers on it when it comes to these different fits, different configurations, size-wise, they're based off of flow and volume. Uh, basically, you have one here that's a small standalone one. We have ones that integrate into the sides of the packages, internal on them. But the concept is still the same. It's a refrigeration cycle that's cooling some type of media or some type of cooling device internal to it, dropping the moisture level down in the bottom. And then we have a drain valve that discharges the moisture out. Once we get it out of there, we go to our oil water separator so we can disperse of the condensate. A lot of different ways to go about doing it. Consult your local guys about how, where the right application is. If these tips are good for you, anything else, please comment down the bottom, like our page, and subscribe to our channel.